Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be discussing research. As you can see here, I have a basic research table, and then I have uh, the better research tables, which are called the high-tech research bench. So just so you know, your researching is going to be in, go to architect, production. It's always in production, it's not in furniture. Your simple research will be here, and when you research the high-tech research bench, which is much later in research, it'll be there too. It is always going to be in production, not furniture. Keep that in mind. Now, my colony is real far ahead. We're at end game uh, as far as research goes. And you can see these little guys are researching like crazy. How do you get them to research? That's what I'm going to cover in this, okay? So please pay attention. This is super important. When you start the game, if you are not in the tribal settings, um, the medieval age, stuff like that, um, you have got to do your first research for the battery. So the first research you want to do, you click research, you go, make sure you're on the main tab, okay? And you're going to find, where's it at? Um, you're going to find battery. Now I already have it, here it is, battery. It's 400 research points. That's the first thing that you need to research if you're not in a tribal stage. What do I mean by that? When you start the game, there's different options to start the game. If you are in the beginning age of, a, of like a tribal age or medieval age or whatever, you just want to play slow, then you research other stuff. If you are beyond that, then you need to do the battery first. Why? Because we have got to get a freezer up and running first. Freezer is sur super important to store your food. So you got to select what you want. Like I don't have this research. You select what you want and then down on the end, uh, instead of saying finish, let me find something I have not done. It'll say research. It'll tell you how many research points and then you, you got to click the research button. Guys, if you do not click this, if you do not click to research, it will not research. Okay? You can see my tab is being filled up down here at the bottom. You see how it's a, a light blue and then it's slowly increasing. The light blue is how much I've researched and how many points to go. I don't remember what I'm researching right now, but I think it's on a mod. And just so you know, when you add mods to the game, and you will eventually, mods normally show up in different tabs. Okay, like this is Vault. Okay, there's only one thing there. This is Androids. There's a billion things there. Um, this is Evil Tactician. Three things there, okay? Don't get it confused with the main screen. There are a few mods that do add something on the main screen. Let me give you an example real quick, like right down here. See how these are overturned? I have a Plastisteel mod that allows you to make Plastisteel, and it puts it right there and uh but tranquilizer turn is a mod um and i think so is plastic steel i don't remember if they added it to the game or yet but tranquilizer turn is just barely behind plastic steel sometimes your mods will add stuff there okay on the main screen but most mods will actually add a whole new tab okay so you find the tab like here's rim world technology i haven't even begun in it um i don't even know why that's research that's from another mod but anyways, okay, so you got to click like Pimican. I don't have Pimican. I would click research. It's 500 points. I'd click it. So now let's talk about your researchers. This is super, 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 super important. Your researchers need to be somebody who has the bio with fire, the fire flame on intellect. I don't care if it's one or two. If it's two, then they are considered a main researcher. Now you see how they got some other stuff in here? They got shooting, mining, crafting, and melee. Okay. I believe I only have him set to hunt. I'm not sure. I have him set to hunt, mine, and research. That's his only jobs. So let me show you. This is Dale. We'll go to work. Find Dale up here. This is very important. We're in the work screen. The first five need to always be selected on every pawn that you have. Okay, when you get higher up and you have certain doctors that are really good and you have enough doctors, I have several really good doctors, 
I turned everybody else's doctoring off. But when you're beginning the game, the first five need to be selected always. The first five is firefight, patient, doctor, bed rest, and basic. They have to be selected when you're beginning the game. Later in the game, when you have your primary doctors, turn everybody else off doctoring and only keep your main doctors, okay? Tiffany, I have turned off because she's just not as high as everybody else. You can see that her bar is a little wider. The more white it is, the higher the skill. So for Tiffany, this is Tiffany. Hers, if I point down here. Oh, wait a minute, I got this. Okay, so I, I, I'm done researching. Good good timing. Um, let's jump back to this. Anyway, you want the first five, okay, for Dell. Where's Dell? The first five are selected. I'm gonna have to jump off this. I'm done researching, so until I actually click another research, I will not research. But Dell is one of my primary researchers. Okay, I have him on Warden. You can have him on Warden. You can have him on Hunting. But anything else is going to be risky. Why? Because right now there's nothing much to mine unless I select it or unless I put down a deep drill. Uh, that's mid-game. So your researchers really need to have only the first five selected and then only research. Take off cleaning and hauling or they will never research. Listen, guys, I don't know why, but the way RimWorld is set up, they will do everything on this list before they will research. I'm going to repeat it again. They will do everything on this list before doing research. That means if you have cleaning or hauling selected, they will haul and clean before they research. And think about that for a minute. There is always something to clean and always something to haul. Your main researcher needs to have the research button on work selected so that they are doing it. Now, if your thing does not look like this, it's because you've accidentally clicked the manual properties. If you see the numbers, then you're on the wrong screen, people, okay? So make sure that this is not checked. You do not want manual properties running all the time, okay? So make sure the manual properties X is showing. Your, we're only talking about your researchers, not your regular workers. I got a ton of people in here, a ton of pawns. I got slaves everywhere. My slaves are all selected. Slaves cannot research. They cannot do art. Um, there's something else they can't do. I don't remember. But anyways, your main researcher. You find your researcher. You label them as a researcher. Um, let me show you how to label real quick because I actually am going to cover this in a minute. So for Dale, okay, you select your pawn. You go to bio. Right here, this little thing that says rename colonist. Don't click this, guys. This banishes them. Rename colonist. You click that. You can put a new name in there. And then over here is their jobs. I I would, this is how I fill it out at least. I would fill it up with the jobs that they like. Only look at the bio. Whatever they have a fire on. You see he has one fire for cooking. Okay. I could have put cooking down here, but I didn't. Why? Because he has two on research. This guy, I wanted him to be a main researcher. Type in research if they are one or two fires on research, and then turn them off on everything else. Now, the reason that he has hunting and mining on here is because I'm barely hunting as in-game because I'm producing my own food through my farm, and I'm barely mining unless there's a deep drill. Okay, but generally at the beginning and mid game, my re my main researchers would only research. What does that mean? That means that I would fill in research here only and under work, let's go back to the work screen. I would literally only have them researching. Researching in the first five, that's it. All these other things would be off, but I'm on end game. So that means that they can only do so many things. Do not have them crafting. There's always something to craft. They will craft before researching. Do not have them hauling and cleaning. They will always haul and clean before research. Now, I'm on in, I'm, I'm in late game. I've got several researchers. And here they are now. So later when you research stuff, you, there's always other stuff to research. This, right, this big thing here is the ground penetrating scanner. Okay? And this right here is the long distance, the long range mineral scanner. They both scan for minerals, but the difference is the one highlighted does in different zones. And this is vanilla. You don't need a mod for this. The radar will detect on the world map. I don't think I have anything detected. Let me go ahead and click here. 
and this is late game. I don't see anything. Oh, yeah, here's one right up here. Okay, this little icon says that the long-range mineral scanner has detected something there. It's a lump of silver, silver ore. So if I created a caravan, I could go there and there would be silver ore to mine. Okay, but we're not going to get into caravans yet. There's my, or no, that's not my home. My home is right here, right, right there. That's my home there. So I would travel to here to there if I wanted to. Okay, now I'm like late game. So if you guys are confused, don't worry about it. You're going to learn this later. But I got to talk about this real quick because... Let me go to my researchers again. Okay, let's go back up here. When you don't have anything to research, this is my research room. If I don't have anything to research down here, which I don't, nothing's being researched. When you do get these items, your researchers will run to use these when you're not researching, okay? So if I don't have anything selected on research, they will run and do this. Okay, unless I have a lot of researchers, okay? If you have more researchers than research tables, then you can run one of these items later and research at the same time. But I think I only have four. I have four main researchers, and that's it. So, these little guys are scanning for minerals, all right? You'll learn this later in late game. Don't worry about it right now. I'll cover it in another video. I just want you to understand. When you do get these items and you build them... You will not research them normally when you're researching over here. Let me pause it because there was too much background noise. Uh, the research room, eventually you want to put down uh, the sterile tile, okay? Okay, if you hit escape a couple times, you will not have a, uh, you won't have the bio up. You can see it says sterile tile. Sterile tile is something you research. Let me find it, research. Um, it's in their medical somewhere. There it is. Sterile materials. This right here gives you the sterile tile. Okay, you see it constructs sterile tiles. They are good for three things. Your research room, your cooking, which I don't, I have wooden floors down here right now. Um, I just, I've been lazy, I haven't done it. And your main hospital. Here's my, here's my main hospital. A sterile floor is easier to keep clean and when you have dirt that is produced, it doesn't produce as much. It also keeps the room more beautified. However, sterile tiles take silver and steel to make, and a lot of it. Um, and this is my medical room for a mod, and this is my main hospital, okay? So only, only use the sterile tiles for your hospital for your kitchen when you, well, wait a minute, I don't, it's my prison. Okay, for your research right here, here's my research room. For your medical facilities and for your kitchen, but like I said, my kitchen has wooden floor because I'm an idiot right now. The more sterile your food is when it's cooked and stored, my food is stored over here right now in that big um, silo. That silo is from a mod, okay? And then I got my meals in the storage units. That is from a mod as well. We'll get on that later. But your sterile tiles help with keeping your food and your meals clean. And you will not get food poisoning as often. And also, if your hospital is sterile, you have a less likely of infection. A higher rate to heal when they are in the hospital bed. Okay? And then with your research, uh, with your research, believe it or not, Having a research room with all sterile tile increases your research speed. So again, what we've covered over here is sterile tiles, laying down your research room, um, how to tell who could research. So like, here's Dell up here, okay? He's a little robot. Okay, Dell, let's go to his bio. They need either one or two fire marks. Let me go through some. See, most of my people, like this person has one. Okay, this person has one on here um, that is um, Sereno, and you'll see I have him labeled as Mine Research and Art. That's because he's good at mining, he's the two in mining, and he has some art. See how he has the fire for art, and then he has the fire for research. Now, he has other things. I didn't put him on crafting because I got other people that are better at crafting. Okay, so Sereno, he is on Mine Research and Art. 
So again, the way you label them is you click up here, that's your bio. If you want to change his name, here you go. If I want to call him stupid, I would erase this, I would click and I would start backspacing and call him stupid and it would appear up here. Serino's right here. Whatever I change his name, let's change his name now, okay? Let's call him stupid. All right, S-T-U-P-I-D. Oh, I wasn't watching, sorry. Okay, so say I want to name him Stupid, all right? I hit OK, and guess what? His name is now Stupid. <laughs> all right, so th this is labeling. I will cover labeling later. Let's just call him Mason. That's his first name anyways on here. All right, so now his name is going to be Mason. I did not mean to capitalize everything. So now his name is Mason. I'm going to hit OK. And voila, now his name is Mason. All right, so you can rename your, your people. Um, if you want to name your friends and stuff, put your friends in the game. I have some of my friends in the game. So that's how you label. Um, that's how you research. Please, for the love of God, you go to work. When you find your researcher, the first five should be on when you're early game until you turn off certain people on doctor. And your researchers need all of this stuff unchecked. I would not have this checked. The reason I have it checked now is like I said, I'm late game. I have all kinds of robots that do plant cutting and I have all kinds of robots that grow food. So I have them selected for plant cutting, but my robots usually beat them to it. Okay. Generally, I have the first five selected and turn everything else off except for research. Okay. I can't repeat that enough. They will do everything on this list before researching. See this guy here? He has Crafting, hauling, cleaning, selected, um, plant cutting, and smithing. If I were to click research, I promise you he would never research a day in his life. Why? Because he'll do everything else first. There's always something to craft. There's always something to haul. Always something to clean. So guys, when you have a researcher, this is what it should look like. You see how none of this is filled out? And then we come down here and he can hunt. And he can warden. Warden is important when you got slaves and prisoners. But the first five should be selected again and research. And believe me, they will research then. Do not forget to go down to research and you gotta click right here where it says research and you gotta select it and you gotta tell it what to research. After every time that it's done, you gotta research something. Again, research battery first, create your first freezer unit. Um, here's my freezer unit. I have three air conditioners pushing out to here. This is unroofed right here. There's a little door there. But that one part is in roof, and it's like 20, minus 20 degrees in here, guys. And all the food is stored in this giant silo. I have vents that allow the air to come through here, so this place is frozen. And I have my food here. And I have three little auto doors to my dining room. So guess what? When somebody's hungry, they will run through those doors. They will come through here, go through these doors, grab a meal, come back through here and eat directly at the dining room. So they don't have to run around my base. My dining room is right here by the mills. They generally will not come through this way through the kitchen and then all the way over here to grab a meal. But if they do, it's just the next room over to the dining room. Okay, that's another pro tip. Try to have where you have your meals right beside your dining room. And of course, it's frozen. That's a frozen room there, okay? I have three doors so that way when they go through here, um, it's not letting out all the air. If you have one door there, you're going to have people come through here like this. If there was one door there, this air would rush out and it would eventually make this room very cold. Your slaves don't have much clothing normally, especially when you start putting on the uh, slave collar and the slave harness. There's not so much they can wear. I'll cover that in another video, but, but this was um, about research. So you can see here again, these guys, see how they're just chilling out they're grabbing their meal that's a robot there it's from a mod so they grab their meal see this little guy's grabbing his meal it's one room away now normally this would be a sterile floor again but i'm just being lazy it's a wooden floor it's pretty sterile so my little slave there he just ate some food you can also nickname all your slaves slave it really helps oh and if you don't know okay let guys sometimes you're let's say you want all your slaves on the end sometimes your guys get like in the middle of your regular pawns, you can you can hold click on the right mouse and you can move them over. 
I, I move all my slaves to the end. All my slaves, I'll move them to the end. I can move any of these people, okay? I can move... I got androids, so like... Androids is a mod. So I put all my slaves down there. I hope you all enjoyed this, and this was on food primarily. Or, uh, not food. Um, on sterile stuff and on uh, research. It, this video is on. Thank you for watching.